Stephen, the old-fashioned engine, was feeling very sad. Also, castle had been temporarily closed due to modifications and upgrades. Stephen has no job for him to do until Ulster Castle reopens in the next several months. Some pack members who were nearby felt sorry for him. Cheer up, said Kelly as he rode towards him. In the meantime, why won't you do something else, like pulling a freight train or two? or working here in the yard shunting. But Steve had to say no. Well, Kelly, for an engine like myself, I'm not made for any of those things, but thanks for trying to help though. Steven sat sadly on a side near a brown turntable at Titmouth. Wilbur and Sydney noticed how he was feeling and wanted to help him out. Cheer up, Steven, consoled Sydney. Instead of working in the yard shunting or pulling a goose train, why wouldn't you try, uh, oh, never mind. I forgot what I was going to say after all that. Wilbur chuckled. I think what Sydney's trying to say is that, Stephen, why wouldn't you take passengers pulling coaches? But Stephen was uncertain. I don't think so, Wilbert. Besides, the coaches out here on Stodor outside of Ulster Castle are way too heavy for me to pull. Just then, Molly chopped in. Hello, Stephen, she whistled. I hear I need a job until Ulster Castle reopens. So I was thinking maybe you wanted to do pasture service with old slow coach here. She's a lot like you, and I think you two will get along just fine. Hello, Stephen, said the coach. It's so nice to finally meet you. I heard so much about you. Stephen was very surprised. You have? He asked. So what do you say, Stephen? Whispered Wilbert. Ready to be really useful again? Stephen was a little bit nervous, but Wilbert's bold words made him feel bolder. I would say yes. I would like to give it a try. And this made Old Slow Coach very happy. As later on, Old Slow Coach was dropped off on the middle platform of Napford Station, as Stephen arrived and coupled up to her, and both of them set off. A few minutes later, Stephen and Old Slow Coach arrived at Wellsworth Station. Many pastors who were waiting there were very impressed to see their relationship with one another. Well, you two seem very close, they would say, and you two look very good together. Stephen blushed. Ah, oh, shucks. You're making me flattered. Anyways, all aboard the old slow pasture train, all the way to the airport, all along in Bickerstown. <coughs> Everywhere Stephen and old slow coach went, the other engines also had to agree that both the old coach and the old engine were considered as compatible and inseparable with one another. They soon arrived at Vickerstown Station, considering it as the last of the day. And old slow coach really enjoyed her nice long run. That night, Stephen and old slow coach decided to stay at Vickerstown Sheds for the night, as they began talking about their old days. I never had a nice, long, and slow run like that before, said Old Slow Coach. Even after so many years, before I met you, other engines who are modern will always go at a speed 
that I do not like to go. Especially at super fast speeds like Gordon. Back in my day, Steven, I used to like going at those speeds. But many years had went by and my parts began to worn out and my wheels began to wobble, feeling like they're becoming loose or something. For the first ever coach to ever be made and invented. Same with me, agreed Steven, for being the first ever engine to ever be made and invented as well. Anyways, uh, I'm feeling kind of tired. Let's get some sleep for tomorrow. We have a big day. Old Slow Coach had to agree as both of them closed their eyes and fell asleep, getting ready to start the morning. The next day, Steve and Old Slow Coach were at Brendam Docks picking up some dockmen who were going home after work, who were very impressed with their relationship with one another. Even Salty, Cranky, and Porter were very impressed and also had to agree with the dockmen. I never had so many attention before, whispered Old Slow Coach Steven. This is wonderful. I'm glad you think it is, chuckled Steven. Off we go to nap for dockmen. <laughs> that afternoon, Stephen was held on the other end of the brown turntable about his two first days of working with old slow coach carrying passengers. It was great, he would say, and Molly, thank you for giving me old slow coach here. He was the best coach I ever had, and she totally fits me when it comes to carrying passengers up and down the line. Molly chuckled. No problem, Stephen. Happy to help a friend who needs a job. And for a coach that prefers the right kind of engine that goes at the right kind of speeds, added old slow coach. All the engines had to agree as one by one, they all closed their eyes and quickly fell asleep, especially old slow coach. The next morning, Stephen and old slow coach and the other engines were waking up to start their day as Max and Monty, the two troublesome dump trucks, came zooming past, building dust everywhere, including all over Stephen and Old Slow Coach. Those two pesky dump trucks, muttered Stephen crossly. Now look at us. We're all dirty. And we cannot take passengers while looking like this. I agree, said Old Slow Coach. We have to go to the steam warmers to get ourselves cleaned up. Agreed, Old Slow Coach. To the steam warmers we go. Steve and Old Slow Coach were soon washed up and squeaky clean as Victor and Kevin were very impressed about their relationship. You both may be oldies, but both of you are goldies, said Victor. Like two peas in a pod, added Kevin. Steve and Old Slow Coach were more flattered than ever as they made their way towards Vickerstown. On the way towards the station, then there was trouble. The cup in between the engine and the coach broke. And all slow coach was left on the switch. Steven noticed this and came to a sudden stop. Then he heard a whistle. Spencer was coming down line hanging straight towards old slow coach. Steven noticed this and began to back up as fast as he could, but unfortunately it was too late. As Spencer crashed into old slow coach, knocking himself and her off the rails. But luckily, no one was hurt. But Old Slow Coach was badly damaged all over. Sorry, Spencer, said Stephen. I didn't mean for you to get into this mess. But Spencer just rolled his eyes. Well, you two shouldn't be here out on the main line, he would say. Wait, it's not his fault, said Old Slow Coach. Stephen, I forgot to tell you this earlier. And what's that? My coupling hook is rusty and loose. That's why I uncoupled from you. Sorry, Spencer. Sorry, Stephen. Diesel chuckled. Well, that's why I had to agree with Spencer on what he just said there, he would say. Stephen was cross. He didn't like other engines making fun of him. Luckily, Old Slow Coach was empty and no passengers were inside. And same goes for Spencer's coach. 
That afternoon, all the slow coach was being mended at the Soda Steamworks when Stephen popped in to give her company along with seeing her. Hello, old slow coach. How you doing? I'm okay, she replied back. But that was the best time I ever had in my life, spending it with you. I'm glad you enjoyed it, chuckled Stephen. Well, it's getting late now, so it's time for me to go. Goodbye, old slow coach. See you tomorrow. Goodbye, Stephen. And you too as well. And Stephen popped away back to Napford, feeling very happy that he made a really good friend as well as having a new job.